You know SharePoint and with SharePoint you can do so much but at the same time user experience can really feel like a pain. You probably know the situation, you use a solution but you don't know what to do next, you don't know where to find information, it's a complete information overload and you get frustrated by just using the solution. This drops user adoption, nobody wants to use it and that's the biggest pain you actually can have as a user experience designer. But how can we solve this pain? How can we create a solution where everybody knows all the time where they are, what comes next and they find all the information they want at this specific time. I can share five tips from my 10 years of user experience design. Let's go. My first hack is actually one of the most important ones. Only show the information that is actually necessary. We always put so much information on one page, but what is actually necessary at this specific moment for the user. Try to hide every information which is not relevant for this step and then you're good to go. A great example is actually a smart form where you, depending on the input, show relevant information or different fields pop up step by step. So not all the information at once, step by step and depending on the input. My second tip sounds a bit complicated, but it is not. It's visual hierarchy and what it means is you focus on the most important parts first. Think as the user, what should the user see first, what comes next, what comes third, and then think about ways to break up your design and put some hierarchy on it. You can actually do this by increasing the size, by increasing the contrast. And if you look at your design, ask some random people, what do they see first, what do they see second? And if this is in line, what you thought of, they should see, then you have the perfect hierarchy. A good example is a primary and a secondary button. What does it actually mean? Normally you should only have one primary action. So the user should take one action to come to the next step. But for example, if you have an, have an action like going back, clicking for the next step is the primary button and the back is the secondary button. And you actually highlight the primary button in a way that it sticks out so the user actually wants to click this button because then he goes to the next step. Tip three, use steps. What do I mean by it? Visualize the steps you have in your process. So the user actually always sees what has been done, where he is or she is right at the moment and what comes next. That's one of the most important things if you have multi-step processes because then the user always knows where he is where he goes, it makes the whole process much better. There's no out of the box feature in SharePoint itself, but the easiest way to implement process steps is using Skyball. You can just map your process steps to a drop down feed like status, and then it already maps out all your processes. Number four is use buttons. Sounds super simple and super logical, but actually in SharePoint, a lot of buttons do not look like buttons. People are always used to things they have seen all the time. So make sure your buttons actually look like buttons and then you're good to go. So what makes a good button? It should have like rounded corners or a, a colorful background. It should pop into the eye. Coming back to visual hierarchy, always have one primary button and then style the other buttons differently. And with a lower visual hierarchy, the user always knows which button to click. And the final tip is using white space. White space is the space around your elements. If you don't use white space, all your elements are clustered together and you can't really read your design because all the elements are stacked together and it's a complete mess. So use white space to separate your elements and make your design much more visually pleasing. That were the five tips to improve your design and your user experience and to sum it up Always show information the user needs to see right now. Use visual hierarchy to prioritize your design so the most important things come first. Use steps so the user always knows where he actually is and what's coming next. Use buttons and not just use buttons, style buttons like buttons so the user knows what to click next. And use white space to separate your design so the user is not completely uh, overwhelmed by all the information but can really enjoy your solution and always knows what's coming next. If you're looking for best practices in SharePoint solutions, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments or questions, just write in the comment section below. I'm happy to hear from you. See you in the next video.